Hello everybody, my name is Ray. Welcome to the Evangelical Dark Web. Today we'll be diving into the subject of Mike Todd getting a movie deal for his book, Relationship Goals. Now Mike Todd is the pastor of Transformation Church and he's a prosperity gospel preacher and I wrote about that in depth. The Evangelical Dark Web, um, that is the most read article on the Evangelical Dark Web site of all time is about Michael Todd and how he's a false teacher. He's a prosperity preacher. Uh, basically is in line with Joel Osteen. He's basically the Kevin Hart of Joel Osteen's. That's the uh, brief synopsis of who Mike Todd is. He is someone that's very good at taking trends and jokes from years ago and then repackaging them in a sermon to make it seem fresh to an audience that's extremely carnal. You know, relationship goals is a very good example of this, where he took an internet trend from the early la from like 2012, 2013, made it a viral sermon years later, and then wrote a book based off that viral sermon, and then you know, movie deal, so on and so forth. And then you know, more recently, he had a sermon series titled "F U," as in Forgiveness University. And again, you're just taking something that was made. A move that was a joke in a movie that came out in like 2005, and you're making that a sermon as if the joke isn't already played out by then. So that's the type of pastor he is. I guess that's what qualifies for entertainment for carnal evangelicals, or not even evangelicals, but that's what qualifies for carnal, theologically shallow people out in Oklahoma. So, with that said, Mike Todd has landed a movie deal for this book. And again, check out Evangelical Dark Web's article on Michael Todd. It is the most read article on the site. And we, you know, Evangelical Dark Web broke this, kind of uncovered him before he became big. So, that's the type of research I want to do at Evangelical Dark Web is to kind of you know, not just talk about the Joel Osteens, but to do research on people who you are curious about. And that's how Michael Todd got my attention as some, a reader was it, submitted that request back when Evangelical Dark Web was a tiny website and could do requests on, you know, by, you know, uh, someone requested we write about Michael Todd and we were able to actually do that in the order that the request came and can't do that anymore because we've grown. But, uh, Again, we were able to do that with Mike Todd, and it turned out to be a big, successful article because it broke useful information right before it was really needed. So check that out, and also subscribe to the channel, and if you want to support the Evangelical Dark Web, uh, go to evangelicaldarkweb.org slash join to do that. Back to the video, this movie is going to be called Relationship Goals, presumably, and it will be produced by Devon Franklin. Who is Devon Franklin, you ask? Devon Franklin has been around a while. He's produced a lot of projects. Let's talk about the big ones that you've probably recognized. Heaven is for real. If you're unfamiliar with the genre of heaven tourism books, just know that they are heretical because basically it's about people creating hoax stories about visiting heaven, hence the term heaven tourism. It's a hoax. That's why all these stories seem to contradict each other. So it's about people visiting heaven and going on a tour there, meeting Jesus, St. Peter, and all that stuff. That's the genre of heaven tourism. Heaven is for real is about a kid. And I'm not sure if this is the heaven tourism book that was discredited by the author saying, hey, I made this up. Stop, take my name off this, stop publishing this book. There was a Heaven Tourism book that was like that. I'm not sure if it was Heaven is for Real, but Heaven is for Real got a big movie made about it back in the day. I believe I was in high school when that came out. And again, that's Dev Devon Franklin is who produced that movie. And along with T.D. Jakes, by the way, to throw him under the bus. And he doesn't seem like he produces a whole lot of actual Christian movies. Like, Christian films have a rough time producing good content. And it looks like he, you know, we got a bunch of counterfeits trying to make anti-Christian movies. Is what I'd call a movie like Relationship Goals. What I'd call a movie like Heaven is for Real. And what I'd call 
that Christian Bale and uh, Russell Crowe, Noah and uh, Moses movies respectively, but in the opposite order. So what else is Devon Franklin working on presently? Well, this is pretty interesting. He's also producing Reckless Love, as in the Bethel song, Reckless Love, written by Corey Asbury. And he's producing that into a movie based on that song. So I can only imagine was a huge hit as a movie. And it's actually a really good movie. I should do a review on that sometime. But I guess he's trying to, rec- or not that he was involved in that movie, but he's trying to like, recreate that same magic with reckless love a deeply polarizing and off objectively awful song because it's just so repetitive and it's theologically asinine but that's what devon franklin does i looked him up on wikipedia it says that he's a seventh day adventist which started out as the millerite cult if you look back in history and the great disappointment in the 1840s so you know that's what seventh day adventism came out of And if we look at Transformation Church's faith statement, there it is on the screen. We have the health and prosperity right there. They are spelling it out that they believe in the prosperity gospel. And they believe that we believe that as part of Christ's work of salvation is the Father's will to be for believers to become whole, healthy, and successful in all the following areas, spiritual, mental, and emotional physical, as in physical health, and financial. They believe that because you are saved, you will also become these things. Physically healthy, financially prosperous. Obviously, the spiritual part is true, but it's a very carnal way to word it, especially with the other things. And mentally and emotional, you know, that's a little bit of a... That, that's not necessarily true to say that we won't have mental health issues as Christians. Like, that's not something we should be promising. And I don't think that's necessarily a promise of the cross. But that's what they believe. They're very in your face about being a prosperity preaching church. There is money to be made in the prosperity gospel. Mike Todd has made a lot of money in a very short period of time peddling this false gospel. And it's also an extremely carnal church in the same vein of Craig Rochelle or Stephen Furtick, which is often the comparison I've seen made to Mike Todd. But again, I'd say he's the Kevin Hart of Joel Osteen's. So with that said, this guy has come into a lot of money very quickly. He is a rising star in the prosperity gospel movement. I think we need to all be on lookout for this guy, warn people about him. I've been warning people about him since early 2020, and I encourage you to do the same. So watch out. Don't watch that movie. It's probably going to be trash anyway, and I will catch you on the next one.